When it comes to good relations with the Wookiees, the young US will certainly have to take a seat, as they have historically failed to recognize the often inquired about droid attack on the Wookiees. But why is this the case? And why have so many in the US State Department bought the narrative that a large chunk of fighting age Wookiee males were killed in a planetary-wide mining disaster? Well, the answer really boils down to one solo issue, and that's the taxation on trade routes. When it comes to the United States intergalactic trade, they are heavily dependent on the Trade Federation for shipping their sugar water and fattening potato products across the galaxy. It's certainly a surprise to be sure that the US would allow the Trade Federation to have the high ground in this trade relationship, but to many in Southeast Asia, it's a welcome one. With the Trade Federation completely monopolizing intergalactic trade on the US, and the banking clan adding more and more US Treasury bonds to its collection, the US has tragically become extremely dependent on the highest backers of the separatist movement. And unfortunately for the United States, the droid attack on the Wookiees is the Taiwan of the Star Wars galaxy and acknowledging it could devastate United States intergalactic trade and cause defaults on its national debt. The other contributing factor to the US's stance is just blatant fear, as the last person to ask about the droid attack on the Wookiees was killed in a highly unusual individual mining accident. But this also could have been because Kai Adimundi tweeted he had information that could lead to the arrest of Chancellor Palpatine. A shout out to my patrons for your continued support of this channel.